and we get to get hey, good evening, everyone. I met most of you at the door. Congratulations, and thank you for being here, class of 2021, top 37. And believe me, of all the years to make the top 30, very special for you guys to keep that up and make it to this room tonight. So thanks again. All right, so if you would, please let's stand and not remove our masks, but remove your hats from the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Okay, first let me recognize our board members who play such an important role in making policy and guiding our school district. We have our board president, Gretchen Meyer. Ms. Karen Smith. Finally, Karen Smith is one of our top three. So, Kathy, congratulations to you, too. <laughs> and Christy Corella, thank you, Christy. Today's Assistant President, Mr. Miros, Mr. Anton, the camera. And Ms. Evans, who's operating the Google Lead Force. I want to thank Mr. Miro standing as to be uh, conducting the photo op after you receive your certificate. Okay, so what we have in this room are really the very best of the class of 2021. There are 406 kids in your class. You 30 stood out. So if we were to collect the very top notch kids academically and put them in one classroom, these would be the kids in that classroom. So outstanding. You got here based on three things primarily. Your families, so we're here to celebrate your family by honoring your parents and your brothers and sisters. Your teachers, that's why you got to select an honored guest who had some positive impact on your education. And of course you, the student, who through your own self-drive, Got you. So that's what we're here to celebrate tonight, is the three sides of that triangle that put everybody in this room tonight. So thank you again. Okay, so now we will start with uh, some brief remarks from our superintendent, Mr. Mays, and then followed by Ms. Meyer, our board president, and then I'm gonna go over the ground rules about how we're gonna get this done. Mr. Mays, all of you. I'm uh, very pleased and I want to congratulate all of you for making it into the top three. You are the cream of the crop. Um, I was very honored when I was in high school to be part of our top 20. I was in a graduating class of over 700, but my high school only recognized folks from the top 20. So I know and appreciate that you didn't get here by accident. You got here because you had a lot of applied yourself. You had to work hard all the way through school, and you had to persevere sometimes through some, some classes and some courses where things maybe didn't click as easily as other classes did. Um, as Mr. Lynn suggested, I also know that part of what got you here was the support and encouragement you had of, of fellow classmates, of family members, and especially teachers. So I want to thank the parents and teachers that are in the room for your contributions to getting these people here. But I want to honor and recognize the hard work, dedication, and perseverance that you apply in order to get yourself into that top 30. Congratulations to you all. Our board president, Gretchen Meyer. I'm blinded by the light. Welcome students, families, friends, and mentors. The Pine Bush Central School District School Board congratulates you. 
Congratulations to your families and the people that sparked that special something that has helped you arrive on this spot today. Top 30 seniors, you are survivors, but more importantly, you are strivers. You have continued to excel in the most difficult, in no particular order, pandemic, world turmoil, pipeline hacking, and social tension struggles we collectively have ever seen. All of you give me hope. All of you give us hope. This hope may be one of the single most important outcomes of this time in history. Please keep working, focusing, and striving to become the best people you can be. This world will be very lucky to have all of you taking your next steps. All of your chapters here at Pinebush are ending for today, but I am sure your continued success in the paths you choose will make all of us here in Pinebush proud. Leave here and show the world how strong all of you are. Congratulations, and I'm so proud to be here and speaking to you tonight. So, thank you, parents, students, mentors. It takes a village. Okay, thank you, Mrs. Meyer. Okay, so here's how this is going to work, guys. I'm going to call each of you to the to the front of the auditorium, one at a time, in reverse order. So we're going to start with number 30, we're going to end at number one. When you hear your name called, that is your, that's your, now your task is to get out of your seat with your parents. Parents, come with your students to the podium to my right, to your left. I will also announce the teacher's name and you are to join them there. Once that group is assembled, student, you then read your remarks about where you're going to college and about your honored guest. When you're done with that, we want you to move to your, towards me, where you give high fives and elbows to our dignitaries down here. You will receive your certificate of recognition, top 30, um, just recognition, top 30, from our board president, and then work your way back to Mr. Miros. After you're done with the photo for Mr. Miros, if there's already another group at the podium, please don't cut in front of them. Go back up that aisle and work your way across. All right. Are you ready? <laughs> How did I confuse you? <laughs> Let's do it. Like I said, we didn't have a chance to rehearse, so we're going to kind of get better as we go. Okay, number 30, Matthew Veronek. Matthew Veronek and his honored guest, Mr. Oscar. I'm Matthew Veronic, and I'm attending the Rochester Institute of Technology and majoring in mechanical engineering. And for uh, Mr. Akash, I'd like to say, uh, I'd just like to say thank you for everything you've done. You've been an amazing teacher. You've really inspired me to, um, sorry, you've inspired me to be like go more into the engineering field, and you've always encouraged me in all my work. And just thank you. Congratulations. 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 Okay, number 28, 
So you cannot attain all certificates. He is a golf match. That would be Nathan Brown. And his honor guest, this I'll read uh, Nathan's remarks. Nathan will be attending. Uh, Nathan will be attending Clemson University to study mathematics. Mr. McMahon, during my time at Pine Bush High School, I had many teachers and staff members who helped me. But for me, the one who helped and influenced me the most was Mr. McMahon. I have never particularly liked any English class. I always struggled with it. In fact, but I always look forward to Mr. McMahon's class because he always pushed me to keep thinking and to challenge myself. He gave me honest, constructive criticism, and it helped me work on getting better. And I'm confident to say that is a major factor in my success and my accomplishments in my academic career. Congratulations, Nathan and Mr. McMahon. Okay, our next guest would be number 27, Yo Emma Villar, who could not make it. Her honored guest is Counselor Mrs. Brock, Mindy Brock. And I will read um, Yo Emma's statement. Uh, she will be attending Boston University to study mathematics. Um, I would like to give a special thanks to Mindy Brock, my guidance counselor, for helping me through the process and being patient with me. So very good. Thanks again, Yo Emma. Congratulations to you and Mrs. Brock. Okay, number 26, Logan Rodriguez, Mr. Logan Rodriguez, and his honored guest, Mrs. Morales, Senora Morales. I'm Logan Rodriguez, I'm a lieutenant at SUNY Arms, studying engineering sciences. Um, Senor Morales has, I've had her for three years. I've started her class being barely able to understand what my abuelo was saying to me, and now I understand about 93% of it. Okay. 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 Okay, number twenty five, Jose Geraldo, Jose Geraldo. I did not know that, Mr. Boy, but that I say. Hello, everyone. Uh, I'll be attending SUNY Albany. I'm majoring in Canada, currently majoring in Canada. Uh, I'd like to thank uh, Tori for being a great coach. She uh, stepped up my sophomore year once our third coach left, and we didn't really have anybody, and she stepped up for us. She also stepped up um, my junior year to be our NHS advisor, because we also had nobody else. And uh, she just set a great example for the person I'm trying to be. So I'd like to thank you for that. Congratulations. 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 Okay. Number twenty four. Number twenty four is Jessica Fowler and Ron Kessler. Going to Quinter House and I'm majoring in Spanish. Um, my special guest is Senora Morales. 
I've had Sandra for my half time at my school, and she's been my favorite teacher. I love it. Um, in school, I love that she would share all her stories about Peru and her childhood and her experiences and her husband and her dog. Um, this year, I was upset I wasn't going to be able to see her in school, and I was considering going back just to go to class. But um, even though I decided to stay home, she still made an effort to say hello to every new kid that <laughs> came into the class. And um, her excitement when someone answered the question uh, just showed them that she genuinely had love for what she does. So thank you. <laughs> okay. Hi, I'm Okay, thank you, Jessica. Number 23 is Tyler King. Tyler King could not be with us tonight, but I will read the remarks. Tyler will be attending Fordham University on a full Air Force ROTC scholarship. He's majoring in physics and is planning on leading a cooperative program between Fordham and Columbia University to get an engineering and physics degree in five years. We would like to honor Ms. Jessica Kasterman. His honored guest is Ms. Jessica Kasterman for making me a better writer over these past two very challenging years. Congratulations to you, Tyler, and to Jessica Kasterman, his honored guest. Okay, number 22, Caitlin Price and her honored guest, Mrs. Brock. Caitlin Price. Um, in the fall, I'll be attending Utica College and there will be pursuing a degree in nursing. Tonight, my honored staff member is Mrs. Brock. Mrs. Brock was my guidance counselor for all four years of high school. She has watched me return to the person I am today. If it wasn't for her and her constant encouragement, I would not have pushed myself to the extent I did throughout high school. She has always had confidence in my ability to thrive even when I didn't. She has given me guidance when I needed it most and led me in a positive direction that impacted my outlook not only in high school, but in life. Congratulations. 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 Okay. Number 21 is Brooke Reynolds. Brooke Reynolds, number 21. Brooke was not able to join us tonight, but let's give her a quick round. Okay, I believe we have our first virtual student now at number 20, Kara's Ward, and our honored guest, Mrs. Mindy Brock. Kara's Ward, let's see if we can just Google them. No? Okay, well, Kara, congratulations to you. And let me see if I have a remark so I can read those. Kara will be uh, attending SUNY Orange for nursing. She would like to thank her family and her guidance counselor, Mrs. Brock, for helping her through these past four years. Congratulations, Kara, and again to Mrs. Brock. Okay, number 19. Number 19, hopefully we have virtually. Number 19 is Alexa Pishti and her honored guest, Mr. Jefferson Napier. Alexa Pishti, Mr. Napier. I am here. <laughs> um, I will be attending the University of Rochester in the fall to study audio and music engineering. Um, I picked Mr. Napier as my honored guest because more important than the facts and dates in history, he taught us the importance of character. 
He made me realize that excellence isn't about being the best, it's just about doing my best. And yeah, he just did a good job teaching me to be and showing me that more important than showing off numbers is showing off your passion with a nice big smile. <laughs> Over here. Hey kids. I'm going down the ladder. Awesome. Thank you. I'm taking a picture. <laughs> All right, Mr. Nady, thank you. And Alexa, officially, congratulations to you. All right, here we go. Number 18, Lindsay Steele, and our guest, Senora Morales. Lindsay Steele and Senora Morales. Um, as well as continue to be passionate about her job, which made the class easier and more enjoyable time. I chose her as my honored guest because I always felt like she was someone so caring that I could reach out to for both school and personal things. And it's obvious how much she cares about her students on an individual level. So thank you so much. Thank you, Lindsay. Okay, I believe our next two people are both going to be via Google Meet. Number seventeen is Amity Bedford and her honor guest, Mr. Tom Rodell. Amity Bedford and Mr. Rodell. Hi, um, I, in the fall, I'll be attending Adelphi University with a major in marketing. And uh, Mr. Rodell is my honor guest because in the few years that I've known him, he has made uh, this school and the music department a better place. He has pushed kids um, to explore their uh, musical passions and he's one of the teachers that like you can talk to about anything and I know that he's had a great impact on my life and I know that he'll do that in the future as well. Thank you, Mr. O'Dell. Okay, number 16, Georgia Camacho and her honored guest, Ms. Howard, who was an elementary school teacher for her, and I'm happy to hear that we have elementary school. Yep. Um, I will be attending Mount Holyoke College in the fall for Romance Languages. Um, and I selected Miss Howard as my honored guest because um, in the two years I had her for both third and fourth grade, uh, she nurtured a love of language and reading and creativity that's stuck with me since. And she also had this enthusiasm for math that was very, um, very um, good for me, who has always been lukewarm on math and she was able to make it um, exciting, which was good. Congratulations, Georgia. Good 
Congratulations, George, and congratulations, Miss Howard. Okay, number 15. Number 15 is Alan Soto and his honored guest, Coach Al Schmidt. So for the last four years, I had the pleasure of running for the school. I also had the pleasure of running under my coach Schmidt. Uh, he has been a major part of my high school career. While he has pushed me to run and do my best in the sport, he also pushed me to do my best as a person. And honestly, he has been a key component of me and my growth throughout these last four years. And I would not go on any other coach. And real quick, Thank you to my family and my sister. <laughs> Congratulations, Alan and Coach Schmidt. Okay, number 14, Mary Rogelski and her honor guest, and other elementary school teacher, Mr. Nero. Mary Rogelski and Hello everyone, I'm Mary Rogelski. In the fall, I'm going to be attending uh, Binghamton University, majoring in biology. My honor guest for tonight is my fourth grade teacher, Mrs. Gennaro. It's crazy to think I was in fourth grade eight years ago, and honestly, I don't remember much about the year. Uh, but the one thing I do remember is being excited uh, to come into school. Uh, Ms. Gennaro had a way of making learning fun, but yet challenging at the same time. No matter what we were doing, I love coming into school every day. Mrs. Gennaro taught me how to challenge myself academically, but showed me how to create a passion of my work. Thanks to her, that passion has never stopped and is not stopping anytime soon. Years later, when I visited Mrs. Gennaro, I noticed the same path that you have put her, and now she is feeding the inner flame of every one of her students. She has been a strong, independent female role, role model, and I strive to make a change in people's lives, just like I have hers. Uh, I have never met someone so selfless and passionate as she is, and I'm forever grateful for all the lessons I've learned in her past. Thank you for being a kind, hearted, welcoming teacher and showing me that school is not really scary. Congratulations. 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 Okay, thank you, Mary. Number 13. Number 13 is Hannah Bendy. Hannah could not join us tonight. However, she did leave some words about her honored guest, Miss Christine Tedisco. So let me see if I can find it. Hannah will be attending the University of Delaware. She'd like to honor her ninth and 11th grade math teacher, Mrs. Tedisco. She always treated her like her own and showed her what a little hard work could do to help you excel if you put your mind to anything. Congratulations, Hannah, and to Mr. Tedisco. Okay, number 12. Number 12 is Nandini Patel, and our honored guest, Mrs. Sue Stern. Nandini Patel, and Mrs. Stern.
attending Binghamton University as a nursing major in the fall. And my honored staff member for tonight is Mrs. Stern. Mrs. Stern was my AP Biology teacher this year, and she was a much bigger help to me than I think she knows. I think I asked her to explain cellular respiration to me about 17 different times, but her empathy and understanding each time helped me to feel semi confident in my knowledge of the cell. I want to thank Mrs. Stern today for never becoming frustrated, no matter how many times I asked her to go over the crap cycle. Because her toxic patients encouraged me to keep improving as a student. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you. Again, thank you, Nandini and Mrs. Stern. Number 11, Deborah Fanner and Again, this is Morales. Um, my name is Deborah Fanor, and I'm attending Wesleyan Polytechnic Institute as a biology major. And my honor guest is Mrs. Morales, or Sigma Morales. And Mrs. Morales has been my Spanish teacher for the past two years, and I'm grateful for that. She has taught me so much, including chicken conjugations to the rich history and culture of Latin America. She always made sure to ask how I'm doing and never failed to teach with a smile on her face. I want to thank her for creating an environment of enthusiasm for learning, appreciation for learning, and room for making mistakes along the way. Mrs. Morales will never know how much her guidance has helped me, but I want her to know that she has made a big difference in my life. So once again, thank you for everything. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Mrs. Brown, something back up in this group. Congratulations to you again. Yeah. All right, now we get to the top 10. Number 10. Is Hannah Filipkowski and her honored guest, Mr. Sabini. I'm going to be attending Binghamton University in the fall. Um, my honored guest is Mr. Savini. Um, he continuously encouraged me to join the tennis team throughout middle school by encouraged by being nagged me every time he saw me in the hallways. Um, and so I finally did in high school. But thanks to him for tennis, I have some new friends and even a new family. After knowing Savini for many years, I can look back and see the whole world that he has had on both my life and my education. Congratulations. Congratulations. Anna. Congratulations. It's so sweet to see you. Congratulations, Adam, and again, Mr. Sabine. Okay, number nine. Number nine is Paige Lodice and our honored guest, Mr. Gerald Briscoe. Hey everyone, um, I'm Paige, and in the fall I'll be attending Binghamton University as an English major. Um, my honor guest that I've chosen is Risco. I was on the varsity cross-country track teams for three years, so Risco has been a part of my life for a while now. 
Even though I decided not to run this year, I still chose Frisco to be my honored guest because of the part he's played in my life for so long. Running distance after school every day was nothing short of death, but it taught me so much. Frisco played a key role in teaching me the values of integrity, discipline, and dedication. He taught me the meaning of a team, which I now know is basically a second point. Um, <laughs> Frisco and Schmidt were always there for me no matter what. I cannot thank Frisco and Schmidt enough for all the memories and everything they've done for me. Even though I'm no longer on the team, I know I'll always be part of the family. First coach Schmidt, thank you for not only being the best coaches I've ever had, but also two of the best guys I've ever met. Congratulations. Congratulations, Paige and Coach Rizko. Okay. Number eight, Alexander O'Flaherty and his honored guest, Mr. Dan Harrison. Alexander O'Flaherty and Mr. Harrison. Um, I'm Alex. I'm going to be attending Boston University, and I'm planning to study mechanical engineering. I chose Mr. Harrison because his class is probably one of my favorite I've had in my high school career. Science is usually my best class, but Mr. Harrison was meant for that. Um, whether it be his jokes or corny jokes the whole year, <laughs> his class is always fun and cool at the end. And I'm glad that I have Mr. Harrison, as you would say, to help me flex my chemistry muscles. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you. Very good. Congratulations. Thanks so much. Congratulations to Alex and Mr. Harris. Number seven. Number seven. Kayla Marina and Mr. Patrick Rhymes are his honor guests. Kayla Marina and Mr. Rhymes. I'm Caleb, and I'm going to be attending Georgia Institute of Technology in the fall for mechanical engineering. And I'm going to tweak the rules a little bit. And I honestly, this tech department at uh, Fine Bush has owed I owe everything to it. It really showed me what engineering is about technology. So I would like to thank all the technology teachers, but Bryce in particular. I still remember the first day uh, in drawing design in freshman year. <laughs> You remember soon now. Um, <laughs> he, uh, he specifically, uh, sorry, specifically he said to the entire class, despite my age, I'm not your friend, I'm your teacher. Fortunately, this was completely proven wrong. Um, he has shown me so much, and we have grown really close over the past four years thanks to our love for engineering and music. We have pretty good taste in music, I would say. Um, and even though professional teaching is probably one of the strongest ways to learn, I have to say there's nothing better than a friend. So thank you, Ryan, for being here. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> Congratulations, Kayla and Mr. Rudd. Okay, number six, Josiah Cruz. Josiah could not join us tonight, but let's give him a round of applause. Number seven, Josiah Cruz. Number five, the top five, here we go. Number five is Courtney Palmer. Courtney Palmer and Ron Kev. This is to this Kevin. This is to this Kevin. Hello everyone, it's an honor to be here in person today. 
Um, my name is Courtney Palmer, and I'll be attending SUNY Cobosco in the fall of 2021. I'll be in the honors program for animal science with future intentions of becoming a large animal veterinarian. Today, my honored guest is Ms. Tedisco. Ms. Tedisco was my 11th grade math teacher and one of my favorite math teachers of all time. She was such a positive role model in the classroom, and she always encouraged her students to do their best. One of the greatest abilities that Ms. Tedisco has is that she can relate to her students on every level. Ms. Tedisco sees the best in her students and knows that each and every one of them has the potential to do well. She is always there for her students through the accomplishments and the times of struggle. Her character has taught me to go the extra mile and help others in their times of struggle, whether that be in math books or in general. She most importantly taught me that all it takes is a little determination to succeed in anything you want to, and that mistakes are okay to make along the way. Any struggles we go through are opportunities to better ourselves and, and learn from our mistakes. And who knew a math teacher had the power to do all that? I would like to say thank you to Ms. Tedisco for teaching me the importance of a steadfast mindset, because without her, I would not be here in the top 30. Thank you, Ms. Tedisco. It's not Christine that did this for, it's Christina. Thank you, Mr. Disco. Okay, here we go. Number four, Isaac Jalazinski and his honored guest, Mr. Ken Marshall. Be attending Messiah University in the fall this year for mechanical engineering. This afternoon, I would like to honor Mr. Marshall, my Excelsior engineering teacher. His hard work and dedication to his students has shown each and every day. I especially appreciate the freedom he has given me to pursue independent projects alongside necessary class assignments, of course. This freedom has opened up the doors for me to explore all the aspects of engineering and find my niche in this field. All that he's taught me shall follow me to college and the rest of my life. And for that, I'm thankful. Thank you, Mr. Marshall. And thank you. Okay. Number five, Congratulations, Isaac and Mr. Walsh. Okay, number three, Christian Mansour and his honored guest, Mr. Chris Pasadena. Christian Mansour. Mr. Pasadena could not join us this evening, but Christian, let's get a chat to stand out and we're heading to school. Uh, hi everyone, uh, my name is Christian Mansour, and in the upcoming fall, I will be attending Cornell University, majoring in biological sciences. My honored guest today is Mr. Pasadetti, who was unfortunately unable to make it today. His secure current fusion was something that always drew my attention from the get-go. His humor was always something that kick-started my mornings, and was what made Mr. Pasadetti's class so unforgettable. Whether it was his witty jokes or butchering my writing, he always found a way to make me laugh. And for that, Mr. Pasadena, I want to thank you for making AP Lane one of my favorite high school classes and for being a teacher I will never, never forget. Congratulations. Thank you, Christian, and to Mr. Pasadena. Okay, number two, 
Holly Colmel, and her on guest, Mr. McMahon. Hello, everyone. In the fall, I will be attending the University of Connecticut as a biology major at Mount Holmes College. As my honored guest, I have chosen Mr. McMahon. His continued kindness has followed me much farther than my time in this classroom. His dedication to his students and passion for teaching has made learning for him an absolute pleasure. Mr. McMahon has given me a sense of self-assurance that I will continue to carry on into these next four years. Thank you so much, Mr. McMahon. Hello, everyone. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations, Holly and Mr. McMahon. Okay, top 30, we have one left. Number one in the class of 2021, Jovan Palinkas. Teacher, Mrs. Hi, I'm Jovan, and in the fall, I'll be attending Pace University in New York City as a forensic science major in the Honors College. My honored guest tonight is my fifth grade teacher, Ms. Herb. I don't want to say I found school boring, but I definitely was not always engaged in the classroom throughout much of my early school experience. And Ms. Herb was the first teacher that really went out of her way to make sure I was challenged and interested in what I was learning. And I'm very thankful to her for putting in the extra effort into teaching me and for helping me to learn to actually enjoy learning. Thank you so much. Congratulations, Joe Vaughn, and of course to the rest of the class of 2021. Top 30, congratulations. Okay, I'm gonna turn it over to our principal, Mr. Hotmeyer, but I just wanna remind the students and the staff, please don't run out of here. We'd like to get a group photograph, maybe up here on the stage uh, of the whole top 30 with their teachers. So don't run out of here after Mr. Hotmeyer's finished. Congratulations to our principal, Mr. Hotmeyer. Thanks. Thank you. 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 Thank you of everybody sitting before us here, who's here on the screen as well this evening. And I'm also even more proud of just listening to the stories of how my teachers have impacted your lives, all right? What it really shows is what Mr. Lynn talked about earlier, is that three sides of the triangle, our school, our parents, our community, we do this together. And when we do something together, as you see here today, we are unstoppable. I couldn't be proud of you. I couldn't be proud of my teachers. And I want to give you truly a heartfelt congratulations because some of those speeches, I got to be honest with you, were really, I'm glad the Kleenex would give me too. I think it was absolutely awesome. Have a great evening. You guys have risen above. You have really showed the leadership that made you in the top 30. We are very proud on behalf of my administrative team. Thank you because you really are the top 30. Have a great evening. So we're going to try something different. Instead of doing a photograph inside, I think it'd be great if we could get all the students on the front steps of the building 
with the main entrance and the backdrop, facing the student, they're facing the student lobby.